Hello YouTube, it's William with WC Knives. Kind of a nasty day, I'm really waiting on some material, so I, uh, I decided to go ahead and show you my new toy. It's the, uh, as you've seen in the picture, it's my new cookery. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I love cookeries, okay? I just love the way that blade design that sweeps down. Um, to me, it just it, it cuts better. It what it does is when you're cutting this edge, it draws itself into whatever you're cutting. Okay, and uh, so I just I just love that about a cookery. To me, it it cuts better. So anyway, just kind of give you some specs on this knife. I uh, I believe I'm going to call it the uh, the hog's tooth. It kind of looked like a tush to you, but anyway. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the hog's tooth. The actual cutting edge is about five and a quarter. The overall, including the hammer pole, is about eleven and five eighths, give or take an eighth or so here and there. But the, the width of the blade, I hope I'm getting this on camera, width of the blade is uh, about an inch and three quarters at the widest part. Uh, handle on it, uh, is uh, little, almost uh, uh, five inches, or right at five inches. Has a semi-hidden uh, lanyard hole. Has a hammer pole out here so you can crack nuts with it or hammer it into something if you want to uh, do that for it. Put a block on the end of it, use it as a draw knife or whatever. It is a full, full flat grind. Um, it's kind of starting to patina a little bit. I've, I've used it a little bit over the past couple, three days. And, but it, the reason I designed it the way I did was I wanted something where if you get out here, it, it, it uses like a large knife where you can really get on something and just wail on it. And uh, if you use the lanyard, you can get out there and I mean, you can just really whack on something. Or you can use it like a standard knife or you can get in there and do that real fine, intricate cutting. If you and I left the bubble here so that it give you something to hold on to when you uh, when you choke up on it like that. And uh, so anyway, there's the thought process behind it. It's made out of uh, 1095 three sixteenth steel, and uh, it it feels very good in the hand. It, Right now, the balance on it has just really impressed me. Uh, the balance on it, once you get up here, it, it just feels like a little old three and a half inch blade, really. Um, and I mean, you can you can hook your little finger in there and you can get up in there and do some, like you have a two inch blade in your hand, really. Or the, I left a, a little palm divot here so you can put your palm in there and you can you can gut that deer, hog, whatever you wanted to do. With it, you got plenty of blade there to hold on to. So I, I'm really liking the design so far. I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing around with it, testing it out, and and uh, I'm hoping to get on a camping trip here in the next few days. It's just a really nasty day today. Just trying to sleet and snow a little bit. It's just above freezing. So. But anyway, I got to get some knife orders out before I can go play. But there you have it. That's the uh, the hog's tooth, WC knives hog's tooth. And um, right now the handle's a little dirty. Like I said, I've been using it for the past few days. And I really, really like this knife. It's it's. I think it's going to be an ideal camp knife. Um, it's it, the blade on it's big enough to take care of those camp chores and yet small enough to to skin a squirrel or uh, you could probably even fillet a fish with it if you if you are very careful with it. <laughs> but anyway, just a quick video introduction. I like to bring you guys some new designs every once in a while, and uh, most of my designs, I mean, they're not new, 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 new. They're little changes here and there of some old designs but uh, I don't think there's really any new knife designs under the sun to be honest with you 
But anyway, that's my take on a kukri. That's a more of a hunting kukri. Uh, see how the deep belly. Some of the kukris, they, they the belly and the point comes out further. It's more of a tactical kukri, but I wanted more of a belly for skinning. Uh, so anyway, that's my thought process behind the design. Hey, if you like it, leave it in the comments. Uh, price point on it, just a knife, probably about the same uh, price as the uh, as the large uh, nest book, one hundred and sixty dollars. It's just a lot of steel, a lot of grinding, uh, labor intensive. Uh, sheath for it, just a standard mountain man sheath, probably around forty. So, total package to get you a sheath of nine ounce leather mountain man style sheath with. Uh, with a knife for 200 bucks and uh, we we'll get you some liners and uh, that way it'll be just a little bit more of a beefy handle put some eighth inch liners on it but it, it just I really like the way it feels when you choke up on it like that so anyway thanks for watching appreciate all your views or subscriptions and and um, all your support and until the next one Take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. You need to take your hogs too. Everybody needs a hogs too. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.